so one of my favorite things to do with matrices is something called a communication matrix. It happens all the time in backpackers hostels. Let's check it out. All right, so let's say you've got like a four person dormitory and Eva speaks English and Yumi speaks Japanese and Kim speaks Korean and Wong speaks English, Japanese and Korean. Now, obviously, uh, Eva can speak to Wong and Yumi can speak to Wong and Kim can speak to Wong and Wong can speak to everybody. But Eva and Yumi can't communicate unless they have an interpreter. So let's take a look at how this can be represented using matrices. First of all, we can represent it this way as a network uh, where Wong is in the center of that network and there's two way communication between everybody. Everything we're about to say goes for these kinds of networks where it's two way communication or two way travel. Maybe these are towns, whatever it might be. Okay, so here's our communication matrix uh, Eva, Yumi, Kim, Wong. They're the speaker or the sender of the information. Evi, Yumi, Kim, Wong, they're going to be the receiver. Now, this matrix you're going to see in a second is going to become um, a, ref a reflection uh, because the sending and receiving goes both ways. Okay, so let's see. Eva speaks English. Now, that means that Eva and Wong can speak to each other, but Eva can't send information to anyone else. So... Eva to Wong, that works. But Eva to anybody else, doesn't work. Yumi speaks Japanese. So Yumi can speak to Wong, but nobody else. Kim speaks Korean. So Kim can speak to Wong, but nobody else. And Wong can speak uh, to everybody. Um, Wong can speak to Eva. Wong can speak to Yumi, Wong can speak to Kim, but Wong can't speak to herself. That's a bit weird. So there's our matrix. Now what we're going to do is take that matrix and multiply it by itself. Just drag that matrix down there and written a little squared around it because that means we're going to multiply it by itself. Now I'm going to make some more copies of that so we can see what it really looks like when we're multiplying by itself. All right, so that's what squaring a matrix means, a matrix times itself. Uh, now we need to do matrix multiplication rows times columns. So to, do, to do this, we need to do a row times a column. And we need to do that a lot of times. It's going to be a big effort. So we're just going to do one here. 0 times 0 plus 0 times 0 plus 0 times 0 plus 1 times 1 is 1. All right, uh, I might do the first row of elements. 0 times 0, now I'm going down uh, that one there, just to see what's going on here. So I'm going across the yellow bit, and then I'm going down this next blue one. All right, so we've got 0 times 0, 0 times 0, 0 times 0, 0 times 1. All right, 1 times 1, and that would also be 1. Okay, now going down the next one, we have 0 times 0. 0 times 0, 0 times 0, and 1 times 1, which is also 1. And finally, we have 0 times 1, which is 0, 0 times 1, which is 0, 0 times 1, which is 0, and 1 times 0, which is 0. We have a new row of our matrix. Now, what does that new row of our matrix mean? Well, the headings of our matrix are still going to be the same, because we're taking the rows of the first matrix, which are E, Y, K, and W, and taking the columns of the second matrix, which are E, Y, K, and W. But now we have um, communication through an interpreter. All right, so E can speak to E. Now that's a bit silly, but what that means is that E can speak to Wong, who can speak back to E. That's where that's come from. E can speak to Y, because E can speak to W, who can then speak to Y. E can speak to K, uh, because E can speak to uh, W, who can speak to K. And then there's this weird one here, E can speak to W. Now, E can't speak to W through an interpreter. There's no interpreter here for E to speak to W. This is the matrix for two-step communication, but E can just speak directly to W. So that's not part of our, our two-step matrix. Now when I complete the matrix multiplication we get something that looks like that 
and that is our two-step communication matrix. Now, this one looks a bit weird, right? Uh, WW3, all of the others are one zero. But think about what this one means. It means that Wong can speak to Wong, Wong can speak to herself by speaking to Kim, and then Kim can speak it back to Wong. Wong can speak to herself by speaking to Yumi, who can speak it back to Wong, and Wong can speak to Eva, who can speak it back to Wong. So there's three ways that Yumi can, that um, Wong can speak to herself through an interpreter. Uh, similarly, all of these zeros here represent the fact that Wong can't speak to anybody else through an interpreter. Wong can speak to everyone directly, but that two-step communication, Wong can't do that with anybody else. All right, so there's our two-step communication matrix. We just need to tidy it up a little bit because we need to get rid of our redundant communication links. So the leading edge here, E speaking to E, E speaking to themselves, that's stupid. That Y speaking to Y, that's silly. They, you don't talk to yourself. So we get rid of the diagonal here. And that diagonal is always going to be a redundant uh, one. So that just becomes a zero, 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 because we don't want Eva speaking to Eva. All right, so that's our true two-step communication matrix, uh, assuming that people don't talk to themselves through interpreters. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, now, wait a minute, look at Wong down the bottom here. Apparently, according to this two-step communication, Wong can't speak to anyone. Now, we've already spoken about the fact that that's because Wong doesn't speak to anyone through interpreters. Wong speaks to them all directly. So the question we want to ask in a backpacker's hostel is, which of these people can communicate with each other in some way? And if we wanted to figure out how many of them can communicate either directly or through two-step communication, we can take our one-step matrix and add it to our two-step matrix. Now, when we do that, we're going to get something really nice here. Uh, Eva doesn't speak to Eva. Obviously, none of them speak to themselves because those el that element plus that element, that element plus that element. But when I add the other elements, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1, 1. This is going to be a great hostel because everybody can speak to everybody and no one has to resort to speaking to themselves. And that's a combination of two-step communication or one-step communication. All right, that's communication matrices. It's great if in backpacker hostels. It's also great if you just want to get from one town to another town by passing through some other third town.